This is a Kurta. It's a mechanical calculator. I wanted to show this to you because it's something a little bit special. Um, it didn't have much of a life because, although it was devised in the 1930s, um, Vienna, Austria, a man named Kurt Hertzstark, it didn't go into production until after the Second World War, and this particular example is from 1951. This is a Type 1 Kurta calculator. The Type 2 is capable of uh, dealing with larger numbers. Uh, but of course it was very soon after superseded by electronic calculators. But this is a magical piece of engineering and for all geeks this is <laughs> this is a mathematician. This is like the best toy. Uh, I wanted to show you how it worked. It's used for, uh, you can do addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. You can do squares. I've not quite figured that one out, but what I'm going to show you is how to do the basic operations of addition, multiplication, subtraction, division. It's got three registers. This is the setting register where you can input numbers up to eight digits on the type one. This is the counter register. This is going to count how many times we turn this handle. I'll show you that in a second. And this is the result register. This is where the result of your calculations is going to appear. Though sometimes on division we can use the, the counter register. So let's say I want to add two numbers. I want to add 22 and 44. There's 22. Okay, 2, 2. What I'll do is I'll look at the result register. It's all zeros at the moment. I'm going to put 22 on here. Okay, 22. Um, what I was going to add, say 44. 44. So I should end up with 66. I'm going to put 4 and 4 back on there. 44 on here. Okay, so 22 plus 44 is. 66. Now I can do this many times. Let's reset it. Okay, let's just put one in here. Okay, everything's back to zero. Just one iteration. Let's put one in here. Add one, and one is two. And I can do that again. One plus one plus one is three. And lo and behold, I've done multiplication. I've done one times three. All right, so let's do that again. Let's set it to two. Reset everything. Okay, so 2 times 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay, 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. So multiplication is just addition multiple times. So I could do something complicated, more complicated, I don't know. Um, 2,143. Let's say I want to times that by 4. Okay, let's just zero everything. So 2,143 times 3. Okay, 1, 2, 3 is 6,420. What's that? 9. Okay. If you want to push this register out of the way, there's a little button you pop down, just push it out of the way like that. So that's addition. We can also do subtraction. So let's say, actually, let's, let's show you something else. Let's say we want to multiply by a higher number. Let's say we want to multiply by 30 instead. So let's do a simple, simple 22 times 30. All right, let's zero everything. I don't want to crank the handle 30 times, but what I can do instead is I can move this register. See this arrow is pointing at the ones. That means every turn of the handle is one. If I move it over here, every turn of the handle is now 10. If I move it here, every turn is a thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand, a million, and so on. Okay, so if I want to times by 30, instead of doing this, what I'll do instead is do this. All right now, when I do 22 times 3, I'm actually going to be doing by 30. All right, so and if I go watch it on here, you see this has gone up to 
not one, but ten. You see, one turn has put it on ten, so ten, twenty, thirty. Thirty turns is six hundred and sixty. Right, and if I wanted to do it by one hundred and thirty, I could now add, add another hundredth worth. So one round. So now I've added one hundred and thirty is two eight six zero. Oh. Okay. Let's say I wanted to do two thousand one hundred and thirty. So I've got one hundred and thirty so far. I'll put another two thousand in. So I've moved it up to this spot, the four spot. One, two. Okay. Two thousand one hundred and thirty times. 22 is 46,860. Right? Multiplication and division. You can also use it as, as a little shorthand as well if you wanted to. So let's say I wanted to do uh, 20 to 21 times, or 20, 23 times, uh, times 19. All right? Rather than doing 1, 10, and 9 ones yeah so I could do it like that 10 and then 9 times that's 19 what I could do is do 20 twi uh, 10 twice that's 23 times 20 1 2 and then I want to go back one and this time we lift the handle okay put it into the one spot because I'm going to go back one and go back one now if you look at this register you can see it says 19. Okay, if I go back another one, it'll be 18. 18. Okay, that was popping it up into this negative position. All right, you get a little silver line to show you. Sometimes it will, um, other curtains have a red band here. Okay, I wanted 19, I've done 18, so let's add one more. 19. Okay, 23 times 19 is 4, 3, 7. Okay, so there you go. That's subtraction okay so let's put a number in the register let's put 100 in uh, 100 in the register so 100 I've zeroed everything so I'll just put 100 at the top 100 there you go okay uh, let's say I want to take away 43 all right so what should that give me 57 so I pop the handle into the negative position I do one rotation one rotation of 43 makes a lovely noise when it rotates. 100 minus 43 is 57. And now that we know that we can do subtraction, that also means we can do division. And division is probably the most complicated. So let's start with something simple. Um, let's say 24 divided by uh, 3. Okay, 24 divided by 3 should be uh, 8. Okay, so I've zeroed everything. Let's put 24 up in my register. 24. Okay, divided by 3. So what I'm going to do is keep minusing. Okay, so I'm going to minus 3, minus 3, minus 3, minus 3, minus 3. And the number of times I do that, is 24 divided by 3, right? So I'll put 3 in the register, 3, and I'm going to minus, okay? Now what's interesting, I'm just going to zero this register here, okay, the counter register. If I just minus 3 eight times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, watch this, see it's going down, it's at 9 so far, 6, seven, eight, right, this is now down to zero. I've counted eight, but this counter has gone backwards as well, and that's what this button's about. If you push it down like this, now when I do negatives, it will count forward instead of backwards. Okay, let's zero everything. Okay, so let me just show you. If I rotate this forward now, that's a negative, it's actually clocked a 1 in here, all right, rather than going back to 9999. Okay, so let's do that again. We'll put our 24 in, a positive turn, okay, zero everything here, 
okay, in the counter register. Click this downwards. So now we're going to count up every time we do a negative turn. And I'm just going to keep turning this now until it goes to zero. Okay, 24 divided by 3. Negative, negative position, down position. I right, just keep turning until this goes to zero. And then I look at the counter register and it says 8. 24 divided by 3 is 8. Do so you see how now we're using this register? All right. And that's just because of this. Negatives now count downwards. And you can do more complicated things. So let's do 144 divided by 12. Make sure we zero everything. Let's put that up in our positive register. There we go. Zero this. Okay, down in the negative. Let's put our 12 in. And we'll start turning and counting. Now, there's a little trick. When these go to nine, you've gone too far, all right? So that's how you know when to stop. You don't have to look for the zero. And the other trick is, we don't want to have to do this 12 times, right? We want to start, just like we did with um, the multiplication, we can start over in the tens. So what you're doing when you're doing your division is look where, so we're divided by 12, where does 12 first go? 12 goes here, so line them up. Right, we can line the 12 up with that 14. Right? If we go over here, we've gone too far. Down here, we've not gone far enough. All right? So we're putting it in the 10 spot. Okay. So let's do one no negative rotation. We've got 10 here so far. All right, we're still good. Rotate again. Do you see how there's all 9s here? That tells us we've gone one click too far. So we put it back into the positive position and just give it one more click back. Okay, so we're back to our 10 times. Now we can shift over to the, the units and start negating again. One, two, three, up. Oh, we've gone too far. Oops. There we go. And now you can see the 12. Okay, 144 divided by 12 is 12. Okay, now it may be that things don't go exactly. Let's say I put in 145 divided by 12. Okay, now I'm going to have some decimals. So putting this 12 here is not good enough. I want the 12 round here so I can actually see some decimals here. Okay, so this time what I'll do instead is I'm going to put 144 as far over round this result register as I can. So I just move that as far as around as I can, which on the type one is just to this arrows pointing at the six. So make sure this is in positive, put this in my result register. Okay, now I'm going to divide by 12. So I'm going to start with the 12 as far over as I can get it, which is over here. Okay. 12 into 14. Start counting down. One. I've gone to nines, put one back. Okay. I've gone to nines, put one back. Here we go. I've gone to nines, put one back. Here we go. to nines, put them back. Come to nines, put one back. Okay, I've reached the end. Now I can see that my answer, 145 divided by 12, is 12 point zero eight three three okay you can use your decimal points if you want so it was 145 was all around here in in the um, with the arrow point at the six we moved the 12 up two spots um, because it's up in this spot here right one two so four decimal places one two three four Okay, 12.0833.
All right. So yeah, you can do all sorts with it. Just remember, put your result number as far around the register as you can, um, and then you start minusing at the highest point you can. All right. That's it. So that's how you use the Curta to do addition, subtraction, multiplication, multiplication, and division. Lovely little machine.